Hi, from the Coral Gables Television Studio, I'm Leanne Morejon. In today's news, the City of Coral Gables has implemented a number of new practices in the automotive department, which are projected to save taxpayers $465,000 annually. Among these initiatives are changes associated with the way the city purchases its fuel. Also, the city has rescinded the policy of changing the batteries in all emergency vehicles once a year whether they need it or not. The city now conducts annual battery voltage checks and is now only replacing batteries when they don't hold a charge. The city now repairs tires with significant tread life left and purchases new ones directly through a State of Florida government contract. The city is also utilizing an existing software application that tracks the warranty status of all parts in city vehicles. Finally, the automotive department is now responsible for the maintenance of the Coral Gables trolleys, eliminating the costly contract with an outside vendor. If you haven't sent in your payment already, please be reminded that the new fire assessment fee is due this December 31st. Residents have until this date to pay the annual flat $50 rate per dwelling unit. Non-residential property owners have to pay an annual fee based on their classification as commercial, industrial warehouse, institutional or educational use category. Invoices to all Coral Gables property owners were mailed in early November. Payments can be made by mail or in person at Coral Gables City Hall, at the cashier on the first floor, Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., excluding holidays. Time flies when you're having fun, especially if you're shopping or dining in downtown Coral Gables. So if you lose track of time and forget to feed the on-street parking meter, don't worry. Parking enforcement officers will be handing out a holiday courtesy ticket Compliments of the city wishing you a happy holiday season and giving you a one hour extension from the expiration time on the meter. These courtesy notices are in effect through December 31st, 2009 and is a nice way for the city of Coral Gables to show its appreciation to the public. Travel and Leisure Magazine, a publication that has about 250,000 readers nationwide, has listed the Venetian Pool as one of the world's coolest pools. Our own Coral Gables man-made lagoon, carved from a coral rock quarry in 1924, made the list among 17 pools around the world for having a personality of its own and impressing thousands of visitors as a major tourist attraction. Other pools from Chile, Hong Kong, Brussels, Hawaii, New York, and Las Vegas were among the selected few. You can read all about the Venetian Pool's cool factor at the magazine's online website. The City of Coral Gables will welcome the new year on January 2nd with the much-anticipated Junior Orange Bowl Parade. Get ready to see a parade full of marching bands, colorful floats, police and fire vehicles, and much more. The parade starts on Biltmore Way in front of City Hall at 6 p.m. This event has been a Coral Gables tradition since 1948 and is the culmination of the largest youth, arts and sports festival in the world. The Junior Orange Bowl Parade will be televised live right here on Coral Gables Television. We leave you with images from previous parades. For Coral Gables Television, I'm Leanne Morejon. Thanks for watching.